Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio Medical Education. So how is nasopharyngeal cancer and middle ear fluid connected? One of the first things we learn as ear, nose, and throat residents is that an adult that comes in with middle ear fluid should always have nasal endoscopy to make sure that there is not a nasopharyngeal mass sitting in the back of the nose and blocking the eustachian tube. So let's take a look at that. So here's the middle ear, okay? Here's the tympanic membrane middle ear. Here's the eustachian tube. Here's the back of the nasopharynx where the eustachian tube starts, okay? If there's a mass sitting in the back of the nose blocking the eustachian tube, the eustachian tube cannot function properly, and therefore, patients are prone to getting middle ear fluid, okay? So let's do a quick case. All right, so here's our patient, 47-year-old gentleman who comes in with a two-month history of nasal congestion, ear pressure, fullness, lack of smell, lack of taste. Sounds all like a sinus infection, right? When I take a look at him, here's the left ear with amber fluid behind it, okay? That's a middle ear effusion. So therefore, again, as an ENT, when I see this, my instinct is I have to perform nasal endoscopy on this gentleman to make sure a nasopharyngeal tumor is not blocking the eustachian tube. All right, so let's take a look at this nasal endoscopy. What we have here is a left, left nasal cavity, inferior turbinate, nasal septum, and what you're gonna see in the back is this fleshy mass, which is not supposed to be there, okay? That's a big fleshy mass that you can see better right there. The eustachian tube, if this was not there, would be right about here. The eustachian tube opening would be right here. Therefore, this mass is blocking the eustachian tube and therefore causing the eustachian tube dysfunction in middle ear fluid. All right, so let's do a comparison of normal versus our patient, okay? Here's our patient with the fleshy mass sitting where the eustachian tube would be right about here. It's blocking the eustachian tube. And for comparison, here's a right side of a normal nasopharynx, okay? Here's the back of the nasal septum right here. This is the nasopharynx right here, and this is gonna be the opening of the eustachian tube right here. That's a normal eustachian tube opening. All right, so this is super important. In my experience of practice in 13 years, it seems not common knowledge that adults with middle ear fluid need to see an ear, nose, and throat doctor to make sure that there's not a nasopharyngeal tumor. And that's what we're trying to do at Compasio Medical Education. We're trying to bridge that gap between primary care and specialty care. We have courses for residents, APPs, and medical and APP students to help share specialty pearls, to help narrow that gap. And please check us out on our website. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.